Greetings and salutations. Hola. We are Kaka Talk, where sometimes you just gotta dive in first. first. And first of all, we start off with a shout out. I want to give a shout out to Tanya. She came down for maybe what, two weeks, three weeks? Who's Tanya? Uh, my best friend from. I thought I was high your school. best friend. You are my best friend. Oh, that's another best yeah. friend. Ah, okay. You can have more than one. No, no, yes, you, you only can. have one no, best friend. You can have more than one. Oh, you can have 10 best friends? Yeah. Bueno. Anyways. Uh, shout out to Tanya for being here. Uh, I finally met her second daughter. I hadn't met her yet. And she fell in love with me and I fell in love with her. Love at first sight. <laughs> but she left back to Arizona. So, But thanks for visiting. And uh, that's all your shout outs? Yeah. What's this? What's that? Okay. We're gonna hey, keep you on act going. like if I have friends and I have people to okay, shout out man. to. Bueno. To my shout outs, bueno, un shout out to Mr. Raymond Lucio y Dominante. We shared the stage with them several weeks ago. I think it was Saturday, July the 23rd at uh, Highway 281 or 281 Saloon in Brownsville. And we shout out to Texas Pachanga uh, for releasing the new single La Bailadora. If you guys can look it up on YouTube. And to Rudy Garza, the keyboard player extraordinaire. And our final shout out is to my brother Frank and Tracy. And I know Tracy's out there, I think Vacation. on in the woods as we speak. She might, actually she wants to take a picture of one of these guys. But I think it's a black, she wants to take a picture of a black one. A black bear. Hopefully the, the bear doesn't come at you like that, Tracy. Um, we've been off for a couple of weeks. We're, um, we, really? lost, we lost momentum for, we, we, started, we, we started every week um, for several months now. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and I guess you can blame me. Um, and actually our one year mark for the Kaka Talk show was July 27th. 2021 but that's including the podcast or just the video just, no just the video oh, okay. i think we started before so i know some of you guys not miss out on all in mari but okay um moving on starting the show already oh we already did start the show no I okay you said after shout outs yeah um <laughs> this might be a short one man first of all we're gonna go straight to what grinds your gears man but me what grinds my gears everything L late fees late fees man L especially library fees or any fees who still goes ticket. to the library there's a lot of people that go to the library <laughs> um or ticket fees and especially when they're late oh my God. so what's uh what grinds your gear jackie when people don't know how to use the middle lane in the street that and please my ears. and uh, what does that entail when you don't know how to use it like what how do you use it how for? do you use a middle lane properly like if you're gonna turn if you're on this side and you're trying to get on this side you get into the middle lane like a hundred feet before and then you wait till you can turn people like to wait right here and there's a middle lane and they will turn oh, okay. from here I and hear it's you. like dude like move out of the way or okay. they'll get into the lane like right when they're about to turn so they're like this like all chuecos I, I grind my gears. I can't. I can't stand it. Um, actually, this we're, we're going to talk about. This past week, we we ended up in Austin, um, and we did see an accident. Two accidents. Well, we saw one accident. And with actually, her, yeah. and actually we, saw it right in front of our yeah. uh, bus. And we saw another post accident. Yeah. Hopefully, um, everything's okay with them, man. So, going towards school memories. Do you have any school memories that you want to go first, Jackie, or you want me to go first on the school so one of memories? My, one of my favorite school memories Favorite? Is, yeah, is in, I think it was seventh grade. Um, what year was that, Jackie, in seventh grade? Because <laughs> when I was in seventh grade, it was 1987. <laughs> For me, it was like Tennis pelo. Okay, go. Seventh grade, two thousand seven. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Anyways, um, I think it was like the last two days of school. We had a food fight in the cafeteria, 
and it's so funny because me and my group of friends had spoken about it like we wanted to do it but we hadn't set a plan so when it did happen I guess everyone had already caught wind and when it did happen somebody threw like back then they had all the the tables together right like one long table somebody threw a chocolate milk like down the table and it fell and spilled right where me and my friends were sitting Ooh, so we all sparked. got up because we we're gonna get all wet we all got up and that's i guess everybody thought like oh, oh dale gaso. Bah, 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 bah. everybody started throwing off food. i think it was like spaghetti too or something like that like it was fun and so me and my friends got suspended for like the last two days of school because they said we started it that was in seventh grade or eighth grade seventh, seventh grade. grade in eighth grade they did actually have another food fight in the hallway but i had already been suspended two days before that too <laughs> you see patola's cafeteria ladies it's okay it's for our memories it's our fun yeah. well my school memory this is i don't know if it, i don't even know if it was a fun one but this one uh i don't want to call out people's name but i remember when i was in 10th grade um my ex-girlfriend um we were we were like we were driving and my ex-girlfriend was in front and me and my friends were in behind her behind them and she noticed that we were behind them so she starts making out with her new boyfriend so you can imagine all my friends <laughs> making fun of me. Hey, watch out, hey! So I was like, okay. So she just declared war, man, after that incident. So the following day, I take super glue. So back then you would you would go to your locker and you'd have to open, open it up locker. like ch -ch -ch -ch. So what I did, le puse super glue alrededor del locker. So whenever she got there, pues ya no podía mover. Me tienes? So I did that for about three days. Can you imagine? She would have to go and somebody had to literally break, break. the lock. So, but it went up the side. Just pay back a little bit. So that was my school memory. So. You're petty though. Why? You do petty stuff. Like Why? all your stories, they're always like petty stuff. Ah, because of the super glue. That's petty. Yeah, that's petty. Why? Hey, man. I mean, no, it's funny, but it's petty. <laughs> I don't think so. Well, that was in. That was like in 1990. Uh, that was not cool back then. And ahorita, I don't know about now. I don't even think you could take. You, I don't even. There's any lockers anymore. Sometimes, and not maybe not here in the valley, but in other places, yeah. Maybe. All right, man. So just to let you guys know, we are watching Dexter, and we're about to finish. We actually already finished the first series. And we're in the middle of the second, the new series. So how many? I think we might need like what, three? Five episodes. Five episodes? I don't know, maybe. And then after that, we're gonna duke it out on what other show we might watch. So if you guys have any ideas on what shows um, recommended that you guys recommend us to watch, I was thinking maybe Yellowstone or any. Anyone? I Jackie? thought you were thinking. Well, I'm just thinking. Yellowstone. That's the only one. one. Yellowstone. And, I was uh, thinking of how to get away with murder. Okay. Well, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. Maybe we'll flip for it. All right, guys. That is it for this show. And to all our Kaka Talk subscribers, you guys do whatever you guys want to do. And if you guys do get in trouble, you can always blame Kaka Talk for it. Latest. Bye.